They just did a study, y'all. They did a study, and they're saying in 2024, even though the market is tough, even though rates are very, very high, let's go, Brandon, even though that's the thing, Americans still believe that real estate is the best investment, beating out stocks, gold, crypto, other stuff. Let's dissect it. What do you think the best investment is, y'all? What do you think, right? Odds are you probably think it's real estate, unless you're 3% of the population who is full-blown retarded and you think it's crypto. But hey, you know, you're always going to have some dull tools in the shed, man. Uh, so check this out. They just did a Gallup uh, study and... Uh, News Nation published this article. I'll drop the article in the notes if you want to read the full article. But more or less, for the 12th year in a row, y'all, uh, Americans still believe that real estate is the best investment, all right? Now, uh, down here, they give you what everybody voted, okay? 36% said real estate, 22% stocks and mutual funds, 18% said gold, 4% said savings accounts and CD, or number, f I'm sorry, number four, 13% uh, said savings accounts and CDs. Uh, number five, 4% said bonds. And number six, 3% uh, of the population breezed through their mouth and they said cryptocurrency. Now, what do I think about this? Of course, I obviously think real estate as well, right? I'm in the majority, number one. Number two, uh, that's how I make my living. Number three, it's just obvious that real estate is the better of all these investments, right? If you take these six types of investments, right? Crypto. Well, that's fucking retarded, so we can cross that off, right? Stocks and mutual funds, good investments, okay? But the reason I like real estate better than stocks and mutual funds is for two reasons, two specific reasons. Number one, leverage, perhaps the most important part of the game, y'all. You cannot get a 30-year loan to buy $100,000 of stock, okay? If you want to buy $100,000 of stock, you know how much cash you need? $100,000, all right? If you want to buy $100,000 of real estate, do you know how much cash you need? Possibly none, maybe $3,500, or if it's a rental property, about $25,000, okay? That's awesome, right? Now, factor that out, right? You buy a million, two million, three million, et cetera. So the fact that you could leverage other people's money, right, to buy this real estate, that in and itself makes it a better investment than stocks and mutual funds. And then the second big reason that I think it beats out stocks in mutual funds, y'all, is the fact that it's real. It's physical. You can touch it, right? You can choose what happens to that real estate, right? If you're trying to buy low, sell high, you could fix it up. You're trying to collect revenue from it. You could put tenants in there, right? Stocks and mutual funds and stuff, everything is out of your control. You can't touch it. If you buy stock in Apple, you don't have any say in like when the next iPhone comes out or what they're going to do, right? You buy some of Elon Musk stuff, you have no say in whether or not he's going to smoke some weed with Joe Rogan and tank the stock for a little bit. Like, you have no say in whether he's going to buy Twitter and then fucking nosedive that motherfucker into the ground. You can't, like, control any of that, okay? But with real estate, you control the asset. So that's probably why the most uh, Americans think it's the best. And then like savings accounts and CDs, 13% of y'all, maybe, maybe that's good if you're like 80, okay? Now, previously, we've been getting like interest rates on our savings accounts of like 0%. Right now, for the first time in a very, very long time, you're getting some decent interest rates on your savings accounts. But I think if you're younger, right, you have more time to take a little more risk and, and, and collect more gains in exchange for the risk. And if you have some losses, they'll be offset by future gains, right? So I would say if you're younger, stocks and real estate are better than savings accounts and CDs, okay? However, however, if you're like really, really old towards the end, you don't want any risk, okay? So that's why you got things like bonds, savings accounts, CDs. And then the last thing I'll touch on would be gold. I'm not going to talk too much about buying gold because I'm not fucking Glenn Beck, okay? So I don't fucking know anything about investing in gold or precious metals. That's not my thing. I see a lot of like, you know, super conspiracy types pitching that stuff. 
Uh, I don't know enough about that industry other than what I see, and I don't like what I see. Uh, feels really weird to me. So uh, I am definitely not a person that should be speaking on gold, but, you know, just an example of what I've seen out there. None of, uh, it, it looks a little messed up to me. So for me, the best bank for my buck is, always has been, and always will be real estate. What about you? I'd love to hear from all of you on what you think the best investment is, except for everybody, the 3% of you out there that thinks crypto is, is the best investment because you motherfuckers are retarded, and I don't want to try to have a stroke to try to read your typo-ridden fucking comments, you goddamn morons. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.